phytochemical screening of plants' chemical constituents, chemical tests for carbohydrates, glycosides, tannins, and saponins. Introduction Examination of plant constituents using chemical tests to determine the nature of active constituents and thus determine the pharmacological activity. Coarse powdered plant will be divided into medium sized portion, small sized portion, and a large sized portion. Put the medium sized portion in the beaker, the small sized one in the test tube, and the large sized one in a flask. In the beaker, put around 70 ml of water. And mix. Put the aqueous extract on a hot plate until it boils. While the aqueous extract is boiling, prepare for the cotton filtration by putting a piece of cotton in the funnel. Filter the aqueous extract. Polish test. Take 2 ml from the aqueous extract and put it in the test tube. Add few drops of Molish reagent. Add drops of concentrated H2SO4 on the walls of the test tube slowly. Violet ring may appear at the bottom. Almost all powdered plants show positive tests. If the ring does not appear immediately, increase the amount of concentrated H2SO4. Tannins test. Take 2 ml from the aqueous extract and add few drops of FeCl3. Blue color means we have hydrolyzable tannins. Green color means we have condensed tannins. Our result is green. Condensed. Froth test. Take 2 ml from the aqueous extract. And shake. Positive tests show 1 to 2 cm froth which is persistent for 2 to 5 minutes. For the acid extract, take 2 ml of HCl and add it to the test tube. Cover it and leave it for 20 minutes. Prepare the cotton filtration and filter the acid extract. Flavonoids test. Take 2 ml from the acid extract and add it to the first test tube. Take another 2 ml and add it to the second test tube. For the blank test tube, add 2 ml of distilled water. For the second test tube, add 2 ml of NaOH. And compare the colors. A darker yellow color means we have a positive test. This is positive flavonoid test from another acidic herb extract. The yellow means positive, the blank stayed white. To 
prepare the alcohol extract, we add 80 ml of methanol to the large size portion in the flask. Then we cover it and leave it for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, filter the alcoholic extract using a cotton filter. Pour the alcoholic extract in the porcelain dish and put it on water bath. Wait until it evaporates. After the evaporation, we keep it aside until it cools. Then we add 6 ml of chloroform. And we scratch. Alkaloids test. Using a capillary tube, take few drops from the alcoholic extract and put it on the filter paper. Now, so you can differentiate between the positive and the negative test, we took few drops from atropin, which is an alkaloid plant. Under the hood, you'll find Dragondorf reagent. Spray the filter paper. For atropin, it's positive. Our extract is negative. Liberman's test. For Liberman's test, add 2 ml from the alcoholic extract. Then add few drops of acetic anhydride. Add concentrated H2SO4 on the walls of the test tube slowly. A positive test will show reddish brown ring and green color in the upper layer. Salkowski test. For Salkowski test, take 2 ml from the alcoholic extract and add few drops of H2SO4 on the walls of the test tube slowly. A reddish brown ring must appear with no green color in the upper layer. Anthraquinone glycosides test. For anthraquinone glycosides test, add 2 ml from the alcoholic extract and 1 ml of ammonia. Rose red color in the aqueous layer should show. Another extract showing a positive result for anthraquinone glycoside test.